By this time, you finish installing Unity Hub on your computer. To recap its purpose, Unity Hub makes it easy to manage your Unity projects and multiple versions of Unity installed. Let us go through the user interface and features in more detail. As you can see on the left, there are four tabs available. The Projects tab allows you to create a new or open an existing project. Here you will be creating a new project. Remember to stay organized so save all your projects in the same folder. In this case, create a Video Game Development 11 folder. Select a template. For this course it will be either 2D or 3D. Use a descriptive and appropriate project name and choose the location of your folder. When creating a new project, you can also specify the install version by clicking on the drop-down arrow. Most of the time when starting a project using the Learn tab, it will automatically choose the best version for you. I can also add an existing project on Unity Hub so that it appears here and is easier to open the next time I would like to work on it. Click on Add, then select the folder that contains the Assets folder. Below the Projects tab is the Learn tab that lists Unity projects and tutorials that are available. I will select the first project you will be learning, Carding Microgame. The pop-up window will show you the difficulty level, approximate completion time, size, editor version, and game description. You can download project and when complete, you can open project. View tutorials links to the instructions on Unity Learn. The community tab lists many resources that you as a community member can access. This includes Unite Now, Unity Blog, Answers, Forums, Live Help, Unity Play, and Unity Pulse. Software is constantly being improved and the Installs tab lists all the versions installed on your computer. Click on Locate to show where on your computer the version is found. If you want to add an install version, click Add, then choose a recommended, official, or pre-release version. It is best to add an LTS install that stands for Long Term Support. Before the installation begins, you can add different modules at the time of installation. Make sure the default selections are left checked on. Microsoft Visual Studio, WebGL Build Support, and Documentation. You can also add these later on by clicking on the three vertical dots. Show in Explorer and Uninstall are also found here.